Hi there, welcome to Sir Matigo channel. Today I'm going to discuss application of special right triangles. I already have discussed these two right triangles, the 30, 60, 90 degrees right triangle and also the 45, 45, 90 degrees right triangle. For example, a side of a tower is braced with 10 meters wire at 45 degree angle to the ground. Another wire is placed 30 degrees from the top of the tower to the same point on the ground. How long is the longer wire? How high is the tower? At the right side is the illustration of the problem. We have a tower. It is braced with 10 meters wire with angle of 45 degrees. And we want to find the hypotenuse R or the longer wire that is attached to the ground from the top of the tower. And we want also to find how high is the tower. But we want to find first the distance from the tower to the point on the ground where the wire lies. So we are going to use special right triangle which is 45, 45 and 90 degrees right triangle. The distance is denoted by X as shown in the figure. The hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2 or x square root of 2 but our hypotenuse is already 10 meters so that would be equal to x times the square root of 2 we want to find x so we divide the equation by the square root of 2 and we get 10 over square root of 2 that's the value for x but we want to avoid the square root or radicals in the denominator so we will rationalize the denominator by multiplying this by square root of 2 over square root of 2 and our answer is 5 square root of 2 using this value of x which is 5 square root of 2 we can now find the value of r or our hypotenuse and also the length or the height of the tower using 30, 60, and 90 degrees right triangle. In this triangle, the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. Our shorter leg is x which is 5 square root of 2. So r is equal to 2 times 5 square root of 2 or 10 square root of 2. And also, by using the same special right triangle, we can find the height of the tower. It says that the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times square root of 3. Our shorter leg is 5 square root of 2. So we multiply this by square root of 3. And the answer is 5 square root of 6. Next, 